lots of sound. All right, family, it is Friday of our first week here in St. Croix. Nick got the beach chairs. We about to head over here. We're, at, um, we're on the east end at Kramer Park, which is one of the public beaches. We have soon found out that on the east end, they have a lot of private beaches. Um, they're on the map as regular beaches, but then when you try to pull in, it's a whole community there with a gate or it's houses there and you can't get to the beach. <laughs> the carcassity anyway um so we are on our way to point you doll just to do some sightseeing but along the way we wanted to get in the beach and everything and so here we is so it's like a little cabana area just like you would find at a regular park except you know then there's also the ocean which is kind of nice the breeze out here is lovely today so we're gonna get in our swim gear and check it out. out there setting up the chairs while I eat this sandwich something wrong with that chair babe something wrong with that chair oh no okay all right well we're gonna be making our sandcastle anyway so it's all good the video after. Don't look, babe. Don't bother me yet. That <laughs> shit's not a story. Like, we gotta go all the way up there? Uh, um, yeah, we do. And again, no guardrail. Yeah. It's a guardrail. Is it? Okay, because that was looking a little treacherous. I'm driving, I'm driving just driving down the middle of the road until I see if I got I mean, that's probably for the best. Actually, I'm just driving on the normal side. On the right side? <laughs> forward your eyes are younger and make sure I don't miss any cars coming down the wrong side of the road <laughs> the right side of the road. he ain't paying attention child younger eyes are this is it right here ocean on all three sides let's get out and see it okay we don't have to get out if it's really gonna no, bother your no, anxiety let me get out I'm gonna stand in the middle of that though. Okay. Look, stand in the obelisk. <laughs> in the middle of the energy Take vortex. <laughs> I don't need nothing to Look it out. The Walcotts, what is the name? The other uh, black realtors we saw? I don't, I didn't get their name. Telling me, I'm gonna buy everything. Does it have an ocean view? Is it on the beach? I need I'm that. Wide. I need that. You mean like. All of it. <laughs> Them up. <laughs> Let's go. Wrap it up, B. Wrap it up. So the question Miles asked was, what would you do if you had Black Panther money? Nick said that he would buy up all the land here with an ocean view. We giving it away to the black people. We taking away these gated ass white communities. You all right back there, babe? You by the edge. Oh, look at you. You you right there. Oh, he fell the whole wall. You gonna hop over, Ma? You hop over it. You gonna swing your legs over? Nah, you nah. Your legs? I'm good. Got brown in the ocean. Over the rock. No, it, I seen it when we were, um, I seen it when we were flying in. I think it might be an oil slit. Because it was patches of it. 
But this behind us is Point Udall. This is Point Udall, yeah? It is the easternmost tip of the United States. I think once you go past here, if you continue east, you end up in the British Virgin Islands. Let's go see if they got a little uh, placard because I might be saying that all wrong. Let's go find out. I feel like you need to come in here and say some type of prayers. I feel like they're going to go see this lightning pole right here. This goes straight up to Olympus. <laughs> this right here, this little slit, you speak into the hole like this. Hello. Hello. And, that's all about coming and then when you speak into the pole right there, then your prayers, they go straight up to Olympus, to to, to them, to all of them. Oh, you found it? I was wondering what them M's were for. This is the Millennium Monument. Oh, you know this about to be some Illuminati shit. Let me see what this talking about. Hold on. Yeah, All right, y'all see this? It says, since the dawn of consciousness. Hold on. Put, put on your big voice, babe, and read it. Put on. No, you All right, I'll do it. Since the dawn of consciousness, time has been measured by the movement of the sun. This marker in the year 2000 is a continuum between all who have come before and all who are yet to come. <laughs> all right, hold on. What does it say right there? So basically, this is a, a, a large sundial. So this is a pagan monument. No, it's not a pagan monument. It's pagan. Is this? Where's that restaurant? I said it was a restaurant along the road, babe. It's the end of the road. <laughs> it's not the end. You circle around and then you continue you on. Go back on the way we went. Oh, you right. Okay, well listen, we're gonna find something to eat. His belly is calling him. We're gonna find something to eat. She keep trying to make you drink warm seawater. Ain't nobody trying to make you drink warm seawater. Babe, I desalinated it though. First of all, that's a whole lot. Second of all, the them bottled waters, warm water is good for your digestion. Cut it out. I'm going over here to look at the view. Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> Y'all, you got a 360 view. Well, not 360, okay, because it's not behind us. But uh, you got a point view here of the water. Why do I even have this mask on? It's just us out here. <laughs> All right, guys, so this is um, day seven. Seven? This seven, babe? Six? Six? Wow, I don't know. It's Sunday. And um, we're about to walk on over to um, Columbus's landing site, which I find completely hilarious that, like, when you turn onto it, it's a dump. Like, Crucians have, like, zero chill. So when you turn onto it, look, this is what you got. They said we have we hold no reverence for that man. <laughs> so we're gonna walk on down here and see the little site or whatever. The the street to get there, um, the road is actually like semi impassable. Um, so you really gotta walk because they take no care of it at all. <laughs> look, <laughs> it look crazy up there. So we're gonna hope that we don't get jumped by the bunny man. Or the naked man on our way to see where Columbus came down here and kicked it all off on behalf of the Europeans. Okay, guys, so in true St. Croix fashion, that little road that we turned onto led to nowhere. <laughs> it just abruptly ended, and yeah. So I think it was like overgrown and they didn't un overgrow it, so we had to take an alternate route. But we are here, so let's go ahead and see where Columbus got it kicked all off for the Americas, shall we? All right, Miles, come on, you ready? All right, come on. Ooh. All right, let's go, baby. So this family is the spot where Columbus pull up his boat and he kill all the Tainos and he kill all the Caribs. <laughs> so this is it. 
this water is like yuck on this side though it's what is that seaweed in there it it's just very um what is it dead kelp i don't know but see all of that in the water it's brown it's like they don't comb the beach over here they said this we don't need to take care of it over here <laughs> we pay no homage to these mines we're not cleaning nothing. So this is the beach over here. And there's a lot of people, you know, there's people over here, but um, yeah, I wouldn't get in this water. This water on this side, nasty. And as you can see, the brown part goes all the way out to like right there. Yeah, it's a no for me, family. Look at it. Ugh. It's a beautiful view, though. But this water is a hail to the no. Bye, baby. Yes. Not like crying weepy sad, but yeah, I am a little sad. Well, it's just me and Miles for the rest of the trip, family. So watch as we tour around and go see some land and have other adventures here in Saquon.